Last time we made some practice snowflakes close up with detail where we had to make each shape, each line into a shape. So if you drew a point, you would have to draw another shape inside of it. So now you could color inside the space. Also, on lines, you went around them to actually create shapes instead of just a line, okay? Today we're going, that was kind of like practice, and today we're gonna take it a step further into another piece of artwork, a, a new piece of artwork, and that is by making it as big as you can on the paper. You can trace a big plate, um, or just draw it freehand like we did last time, and make a few circles um, in between like we did last time. That creates even sections. So, as you can see, I started in one section on my radial pattern. That means it comes in from the, the center out, and you repeat it in each section, like this one. So, our snowflakes, what I want you to do is make them so that they kind of look like they were cut out, and that's why instead of lines, you're going to have shapes. So the spaces in between is, are something we can also color. This could have been, where is it? Um, this one could have been a line when they drew that shape like a flower, but then there is a double line. You have to double it up for anything you make. Like, for example, this one. I made a line, but then I drew lines around it, so each this piece of design, each part of the design is actually a shape. Okay, let's move on to what I was doing here, which is I started with something simple. And today, even though a lot of you did very complicated, intricate designs last week, you might want to keep it a little more simple because of the fact that we're coloring inside. And it's even more close up because most of you made them a little smaller than the page, right? So this is pretty simple. Down, up in each section, down, up, down, up. Before I move on to anything else, what should I do? That's right, do it again. So it's not just a line, but there are two lines, which means you could color in between um, the design and also, ah, <laughs> I'm rushing and I can't see what I'm doing. Um, also, you can color the spaces in between your designs, which is called the negative space. This would be the negative space. Okay, so now it's double. Good, move on to the next one. Here I went the opposite way and I just did like a letter V. So what do I have to do? That's right, make another letter V. So that's doubled up. But wait a minute, it's touching a line. Okay. Put one line on each side of that line. If you want to, you can use a ruler or another piece of paper, sometimes I use, or a side of a book. If you're using a pencil, it's no problem. To double up your lines, see? If it makes you feel like it's easier, no stress, and you just want it to be just easier to make it thick. Okay, so now this one is touching that one. And think of them also maybe like tunnels. Like if you could go inside of it, you can go inside of that. Okay, I think that's a good way for me to describe it. So now, why don't I do that to this line? I'm doing it by hand now, just lightly. Erase the middle, fix it up, because I'm going very quickly and it's not as straight as I want it, but I'll fix it later. No big deal. So we want them to be like tunnels. We want them empty inside. Yes, that's right, okay. So now, maybe I'll just 
have a guideline in between and make some of those typical crystals that we see a lot of the time. So I'll do it on the opposite side so it's symmetrical before I move on. So you're going to work on one section at a time and make sure they're double lined like a tunnel, like they're cut out inside, like a tube or a tunnel, like a paper towel roll. And if I add an extra shape, then you add it to the other one. Okay, extra shape, extra shape, one step at a time. And then go on to the next one. So since I know I doubled those up, I can go around and double them all up. I did not do that here. You don't see the diagonal lines because instead I drew, let's make believe this is not here. Let's see what I did. I made a double line on the first circle instead. So that was like a tunnel or a tube that you could go inside of, right? Erase that line, okay? And then I made long points. So maybe I want the point to go to here or there. On this one, I'll go all the way up to the top. So make a mark in the middle and go from side to side and double it up. Later, you can add other things. Erase inside. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Okay, then we're going to outline, we're going to color, pick cool colors for the snowflake and maybe warm colors for the spaces inside the snowflake. We'll talk about coloring later. Let's get started.